So hello guys, in this video I will try to improve this laptop cooling system which is Dell G15 5515 Ryzen edition So I bought some heat sink Alright So this is the inside of the laptop So this is where the CPU and the GPU supposed to be but it is on the other side of the motherboard so if you want to see the heatsink we need to take out the whole motherboard and then flip it and then we can see it so I don't want to mess anything with this laptop because I'm not very good at this kind of things so I will try to cool down the laptop by adding some heatsink at this side so if you can see here i already have a heatsink aluminum heatsink so right now i will add this here maybe i will put it maybe here and here so let's see if it can actually help to cool down so actually this is not a thermal pad it is like kind of sticker i bought this one it's like uh, 10 ringgit so we can peel it off like this I'm not very sure if we stick it like this it will transfer the heat very good or not so I will just stick the thermal pad onto this so the thickness of this heat sink is around oops um I would say like um, 4 mm or 0 0.4 cm so you guys need to check the thickness of the heatsink before you guys buy it so maybe I will put this heatsink here so I will put the thermal pad on here to make the surface more even so I guess I will put this one here and this two here I think that will be nice because this is square and then this is almost square so I put this heatsink here so now I put the copper heatsink so I think here will be the best alright nice so the another one will be here okay okay push it gently we don't want to broke something else so let's try I hope it will fit okay we can still screw it but we can definitely tell that there is something under there so okay guys after I put these three heat sinks I can barely see any difference to the thermal performance I've done research on internet I found out in reddit they say the best thing to do is by replace the CPU and GPU with this um, thermal I think it is thermal pad from Honeywell which is PTM7950 I bought like 20 under 25 ringgit uh, this is how it looks like right as you can see this grey So I think I already unscrew all the screws that I need to unscrew so let's try finally I can open the whole motherboard for me it is very difficult because yeah too many things I need to unplug and then too many different kind of screws so I hope I can remember all the places so now I need to take off all the heatsink so yeah this is the heatsink this one is the Ryzen 7 and then this is the GPU so now I will clean um, this the CPU and the GPU a bit and then I will paste the thermal paste on it so yeah the seller already provide me the clean wipe so we can use this
for this laptop the GPU is not too hot but the CPU always hit above 90 while gaming or run benchmark so yeah right now I will open this packaging alright so this is the Honeywell TPM7950 so right now I will cut according to the size of the chip so let's see yeah for the GPU just nice I hope the thing that I've done here worth it because it is very hard for me it is the first time for me to um, open a laptop motherboard so yeah guys finally I've managed to apply the thermal pad the Honeywell Honeywell for me it is also hard because um, the this thing is a bit thin and when I try to peel the plastic layer it just kinda folded so I need to reapply so yeah now I need to assemble all the stuff back and it is very hard so last thing I have these two um, copper heat pipe that I get from my local um, repair shop so they took this from old laptop you can buy this like um, maybe 9 to 10 ringgit so this one I get I got for free they give me for free so yeah, I will maybe stick I will stick on top of this route it over here onto the fan so okay guys this is the result after I ran 3d mark times by so the left one this one is uh, before I change the thermal pad and before I add the heat pipe and the right one is after I apply the new thermal paste and the copper heat pipe so as you can see there is a slightly better performance for the right one for the new one so as you can see here is the detailed scores so yeah after I apply the new Honeywell thermal paste there is performance increase in all aspects and if you see the temperature for the graphics card there is a 6 degree Celsius improvement and surprisingly for the processor the temperature difference is very big so as you can see the average temperature for the stock thermal paste is around 97 degrees but after I replace with the Honeywell the temperature drops more than 10 degrees for me I am very happy because now my laptop not thermal throttling over 90 degrees by the way guys I forgot to tell you that the Honeywell thermal paste is actually applied to the Lenovo Legion lineup the newer one if I'm not mistaken for the Legion 2021 version 